It feels so mysterious here, almost like a fantasy novel. I like it here. Are you serious? It'd be even nicer if these sparkling crystals weren't hurting my eyes so much. Oh, I've already gotten used to that. Hmm? Well, now that you mention it, it's not really bothering me either. I guess I'm okay with it. Huh? Yeah, me too. What? You mean I'm the only one who's still getting blinded here? All right, let's get back to the task at hand. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. <laughs> I'm ready for more. I feel so left out. <laughs> something Gusios created. Right. I remember seeing a similar crystal back at Care Bakram. Yeah, you were pretty absorbed in that thing. The reader radar never lets any objects of interest go undetected. Oh, I forgot. If Gusios undergoes spirit conversion, I won't be able to investigate him. There goes the reader radar. Don't get carried away now. Shut 
Wasn't too bad. This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intellikea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day, Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intellikea, then... Lucios and Kerbakram in order to feed on the air? Yes. That's how the hunting blades managed to trap him in their reverse barrier. So is that what you and Baal were doing there, Judy? Did you go to save Gusios? Not originally. We went there to destroy the Hermes Blastia, creating the reverse barrier. Besides, in the end I was unable to save Gusios. He wasn't allowed to decide whether he was for or against becoming a spirit. It's not your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. We won't let his sacrifice be for nothing. We'll use the spirits well and defeat the Autophagos. Right. Yes. Baul says that aside from spirit conversion, he will do everything in his power to aid us. I'm glad he's on our side. So this is Reloise? Yes, Baul says it is. But I don't see any air crane or Intellikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. 
That's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's all we can do. Hey, why don't we just ride Balloon all the way to the bottom? No, it's narrow, and the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. how long it took to make this. Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> well, just make sure you don't slip and fall. Looks like fun.
You picked the wrong people to fight with. Pick the wrong people to fight with. Keep your eyes on my sword. Wasn't too bad. There's no way we're gonna lose.
hands on my sword.
There's no way we're gonna lose. Guess practice makes perfect. This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. For rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochia here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochia through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Bellius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a freak. The proper form of Terca Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air! But then he took too much and became really dangerous! Yeah. I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed! Humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you. So do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do... We have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now.
feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Rock you crawled out from. Bring it. Ah! Ah! 